Hi, this is Princess Snail, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to start by playing Clan Gen. So, I've played a bit of Life Gen on this channel, but I haven't played Clan Gen before. Um, I have played it in my free time, but never on here. Uh, another thing I want to quickly mention, uh, in case you missed it, I didn't record a video on Monday, which I explained all about in my community tab. I was uh, moving out so th I, there was a lot to be done and I didn't have the time to record but I've all unpacked all my things so I'm going to be able to hopefully record without any more little uh, bumps in the way. So let's go ahead and start a new clan. So a few updates have come out since the last time I played this game. Is Cruel Season out yet? No it isn't, okay. Well I'm probably going to go with Expanded Mode because it's fun. Um, and then name your clan. So our clan I think is going to be called Kingdom Clan because I want to basically make a kingdom. I have which I have a bunch of rules for, but first I'm going to say the roles and then I'm going to say the rules and then hopefully you will get the idea of what I'm going for here. So the roles are so the leader would be either the king or the queen. The deputy will be the leader's mate, so they will also be a king or queen. The heirs to the throne would be princesses and princes, and those would be the leader's children. Um, the An advisor would be a mediator, a priest would be a medicine cat, knights would be warriors, and commoners would also be warriors. So, now for rules. So, a commoner can become a knight if they go on a solo patrol and it is successful. All royals must be accompanied on patrols by two knights each. One priest must stay in camp per sick slash injured royal. Priests should have strong connections to Star Clan if possible. New cats that join the kingdom must do a solo patrol to prove their worth. And all apprentices' first patrol should be herb gathering with the priest. So that's kind of <laughs> what we've got going for that. So that does mean that all the warriors at start will be commoners and then they will become knights. I don't know if I actually wrote down about commoners. Okay, so with commoners they also can only, um, they always have to say yes while on patrols, while if they are knights they don't need to. So let's go ahead and pick out our cats. This is really exciting. Oh, this one has purple eyes. That's really cool. Um, let's see. So this is Falcon Tail. Uh, he's eagle. Let's just look through all of them. So this one's a senior. So and then we've got a younger one. We got him. They're a good mediator, which could be quite good. Troublesome, very clever. The more small ones, a senior, arrogant, steady pools, and very clever, steady pools. So she would actually probably be a very good uh, priest. Um. Okay. I think I have an idea. So I really. Just, I really like how Falcon Tail looks, so I kind of want Falcon Tail to become the um, leader because I think she looks so cool. So she is a senior adult, which is fine. Let's see if there's other senior adults or just adults in general in the um, clan. There is him. Okay, okay, because I do want to straight away get her a mate because that just you know makes sense. So. He's a senior adult who's troublesome, very clever, and a great climber. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and grant Falcon Tail her nine lives. And then Pebble Hill will be the deputy. Now for the medicine cat, I was looking at yeah, at Dark Dark Tuft because they um, have steady paws, so even though they don't have a connection to Star Clan yet, I think them having steady paws would at least be good because, in my opinion, them having a connection to Star Clan isn't a requirement, but it is preferred. And if any cat does have a connection to Star Clan, they will be pushed to become a priest. So we'll add her, and then we can just recruit a bunch more cats. So, oh, I really like that Prickle Kit has a little star on their head so I think we'll recruit that little one hazy glint let's see so I don't really want to have any seniors if I'm being honest so but let's see everyone else um sneaky talented swimmer and helpful insight let's recruit him female adult insecure good hunter and good mediator right she'll be a very good advisor 
um, a young adult who's strangely good speakouts add him. Can we add her as well? And then can we add maybe an apprentice in there as well? Let's add both the apprentices. There we go. So we've got a really big clan to start with, which I think could be quite good. Okay, let's go next step. Now we gotta choose where the clan's gonna be. So, oh, they added some new ones. Lakeside, Grotto, Gully, Classic, nice. Mountains, got Cavern, Crystal River, which I'm honestly leaning towards this one, but we'll see. Uh, plains, so Grasslands, Tunnels, and Wastelands, which is so cool, but I'm not gonna use that one yet. Beach type is Tide Pools, Tidal Cave, and Shipwreck. How does the Tidal Cave look throughout all the different seasons? Really cool, like it kind of makes sense, but I also think the Crystal River looks so like, just kingdom-like, you know what I mean? So I think, I think we have to go Crystal River, right? That looks so cool. Yeah, we're gonna go Crystal River. There we go. And now we can begin. Okay, this is, this is exciting. So first things first, I want to, oh, they changed a bunch of stuff here. Okay, I might have to get used to that then. So show dead. Greenpool is the guide. Okay. Show living, choose group to view your clan, cats outside the clan, filtered by rank, age. Uh, I like doing it by age, personally, because I it's easy to find like when new kits join, etc. I can have favorite cats. So I think my favorite cats will always be my royal family cats. That makes sense. And then Pebble Hail. So uh, let's go ahead and get them to become mates. So let me see. Uh, choose a mate and then let's add them. And then, yep, it's official. And they have to stay together because that's just how it works. Um, and now, let's go ahead and just, I want to see anything that's changed. Border, hunting, training, and that one, okay. Oh wow, okay, so in the clearing there's different, like, there's a new thing. Okay, that's really cool. And then you can obviously see the medicine cat then. Sorry, as I said, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, I'm also gonna just update my settings to change some stuff. Okay, now Daffle Step is a good mediator, so let's go ahead and make them a mediator. So, manage roles, switch to mediator. That's good. Um, and then, oh, who are your your mentor is Falcon Star? Okay, that's fine. That works. And then yours is Hazy Glint. Okay. And then, who was our medicine cat? I think it was Dark Tuft. Yes, it was. Okay. I think we have everything sorted. Okay, so I think we are going to get our priest, Dark Tuft, to go on a medicine patrol. And all apprentices' first patrol should be gathering herbs with our priest, so they are going to do that. Dark Tuft leads a patrol out to explore Kingdom Clan's territory and brings back any herbs they can spot. Their whiskers want to twitch with every raindrop that hits them, but the clan doesn't have the luxury to sit inside away from the weather. I think they'll proceed because they just came to this new territory, so it makes sense that they would need to find herbs. It's absolutely miserable weather to be gathering herbs in, and Dark Tuft wishes they didn't have to, despite Blue Paw nearly slipping and falling over multiple times during the patrol, and them all getting drenched to the bone. They do. Miraculously still manage to bring back herbs. That's really good, okay. So that means after that, those two apprentices can have any other patrols we want, like training. So we have both our royals but they can't go out yet because they have to be supervised by knights and we don't have any knights yet. So let's start getting our warriors to go out on patrols on their own. So let's go ahead and get Ice Dapple to maybe go on. So they're sneaky uh, and then swimming and advising proficient. So I think they'll go on a border patrol. 
I staffle finds a loner who is interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, making them feel more welcome. Proceed, we have to proceed. I staffle doesn't have to do much convincing. The loner seems happy to join the clan. There we go, that was successful. That was really good. So that means that I staffle is now a knight. I also need to think of a way of um, knowing that. So I think I'll put stars like also by our um, night cats. If you guys can think of like any ways I could make it more clear that they're a knight, I don't know if I, like I could write it down, but then I'll have to check that every time and that's a bit of a hassle. <laughs> but if you think of any good ways I can keep an eye on that, then that would be very appreciated. Uh, let's go ahead and change Mojito's name to something else. I guess I just randomized it and I got Mottled Bone, which I'm fine with to be honest, so we can have that be their new name. So when a new cat joins, they need to do a patrol on their own to prove their worth, and this patrol will determine whether they become a knight or a commoner, so let's get Mottled Bone to go on a border patrol and see how they go. So they're cold and then they're speaking competent, so hopefully they do well. Mottledbone heads out into the mountains alone, wanting to make a quick check on the border. Proceed. Mottledbone is making a, uh, marking along the territory line when they encounter a patrol from Sprout Clan out on a similar mission. They stare at the other clans patrol challengingly, following their every move until the shared border ends. And though no words are exchanged, it's very tense. Relations of Sprout Clan have worsened, which is a bad thing, which means that they will probably stay as a commoner for now, but they are of course able to still be in the clan. Next let's get Hazy Glint to go out on a hunting patrol because we need some food. They are troublesome and predicting and running prepared, so hopefully they are able to run after prey very well. Hazy Glint looks around for something to disguise their scent while hunting. They need to proceed. Hazy Glint finds no prey. It seems like all the prey was scared off because of their stench. Okay, so Hazy Glint has to stay a commoner because they did a bad patrol. And Shrub Ice is strange and speaking proficient, and they can also go on a hunting patrol. Your patrol comes across a squirrel. It's engrossed in nibbling at a morsel beneath the tree. Proceed. Stealthily, Shrub Ice stalks forward. The squirrel has no idea what's coming as the cat pounces on it and breaks its neck. Shrub Ice sends a silent fix to Star Clan for this prey. Yay! That means Shrub Ice is able to become a knight, and that means we have got two knights, which means that at least one of our um, royals are able to go out on patrols now, which is really good. Also, I just realized we should definitely get Prickle Kit to have a family. I don't know if I, they have anyone. No. So I'm going to make Prickle Kit be maybe the child of Falconstar and Pebble Hale for like like an adoptive child because just in case they don't have kits. So we're going to go ahead and set Falconstar as an adoptive parent and Pebble Hale as an adoptive parent. And then there we go. So they have an heir just in case they um don't have any kits, but I think if they do have kits, the biological kits will be become the heir instead, but at least we have one option. And then the two apprentices, I think we're going to leave them as not having parents because they are old enough where that's not as much of an issue. Well, obviously Prickle Kit is only one moon old. All right, now let's time skip one moon and hopefully everything goes well. Oh, oh my goodness. So much happened already? Okay. This is... Okay. <laughs> a bit much. Okay, let's just go down the list and see what happens. So, ceremonies. Blue Paul looks up at the leader with pride. They knew all that hard work pro proving they were the best apprentice in the clan was worth it. Even if it caused them a lot of trouble, they hold their head high as they are named Blue Pelt after their boldness. Oh, that's great. So, Blue Pelt is now a warrior. Um, and then let's see, buffs and deaths. Hazy Glint was murdered. The culprit is unknown. Oh my goodness. Okay. The past moon, Hazy Glint has taken their place in Star Clan. Kingdom Clan mourns their loss, and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners, as those who were closest to them take their final take them to their final resting place. Okay, 
I wonder who could have done that. Straight away someone died. Okay. Uh, let's check our health of a clans and miscellaneous. Okay, and then we can see relationships. So, Ice Dapple quickly apologizes after bumping into Falcon Star. Uh, Ice Dapple shares tongues of Prickle Kit. Pebble Hail covered Fish Tribe Ice for something minor. Pebble Hail and Mottled Bone enjoy each other's company. Prickle Kit is talking to with Shrub Ice. Uh, Dark Tuft thinks Ice Dapple was nice to them today. Dark Tuft sees Blue Pool's piece of prey looks tastier and asks if they'd like to swap. Falcon the Star nods politely as Shrub Ice passes. Uh, Falcon the Star purrs as Prickle Kit asks to show them how to do a hunter's crouch. Uh, Missilepaw and Mottlebone realize they have more in common. So everything's like really well at the moment. Dapple Star saw Ice Dapple the uh, Dapple Step saw Ice Dapple the other day and did did get a chance to meow hello. Dapple Step thinks they can tell Prickle Kit something important. I'm gonna keep an eye on Dapple Step just in case, I think. Then Blue Pelt is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Mottled Bone. Shrub Ice is having a wonderful time with Dark Tuft. Uh, Shrub Ice ignores Prickle Kit, so that's the one negative thing we have so far. Mottled Bone said something that rubbed Dark Tuft the wrong way, which is negative. And Mottled Bone just joined the clan, so that could be. Okay. And Mottled Bone sees that. Uh, pr Prickle Kit's piece of prey is tastier, and then they swap. Okay. Let's see what everyone's up to today. So, Pebble Hill saw some wandering two legs today. Falcon Star doesn't want to go on a patrol of Missile Pool. Uh, Dark Tuft is playing a prank on Mottled Bone. Uh, Dapple Step is heading to the dirt place. Mottled Bone is eating some fresh kill. Ice Dapple wants to compliment Shrub Ice's fighting techniques. Shrub Ice wants to change their name to be like a kitty pet. Okay. Blue Pelt is eavesdropping on Falcon Star. Missile Paw is worried others are judging them. And Prickle Kit doesn't have time to listen to rules. Okay, that's... I'm not sure who could have done that. Let's show the dead. Let's see if we have any hints at what could have happened here. I accidentally found themselves in Daffle Step streams the other night. Am I able to see in your history? Ah, we don't know who killed them. Okay. Maybe we'll find out in the future. Oh, right, and Blue Pellet is also now a commoner, so we can hopefully make them become a knight. Same with Mottled Bone. And I also think I want to use Dapple Step for our royals. Let's allow Romantic and we will mediate so that hopefully they will eventually have kits. That is what I hope for. Um, and let's go ahead and send the cats out on a patrol. So let's go ahead and get our queen, Falcon Star, to go out on a patrol with two of our knights, which I think Ice Dapple is a knight and Shrub Ice is a knight. So we will go on a... we'll go on a hunting patrol. As the patrol is checking the borderlines, they hear an odd sound coming from just beyond a rockfall. Uh, we, we will proceed, I think. Ice Apple drops down into a hunting crouch, certain that a mouse must be the source of the noise. They find themselves to be correct when they pounce across the rocks and return to the patrol with the tasty morsel dangling from their mouth. Oh, that's great! Okay, so they caught some food, which is very good. Next, we will go ahead and see if Mottled Bone can become a knight. So let's get them on a border patrol. Mottled Bone heads out into the mountains, alone, wanting to make a quick check on the border. Mottled Bone is walking along the territory and again, the clan relations have worsened, so that did not go well. And then let's do the same thing with Blue Pelt. As the patrol is marking the borderlines, a gang of rogue leaps out behind the tumble of rocks and ambush. Oh no, I don't want to proceed, but I have to. Stunned for a moment, Blue Pearl is nearly caught in the teeth of the first rogue, but they use their superior knowledge of the rocky terrain to dodge and weave through an onslaught of attacks, eventually escaping the fray and pelting towards camp, their yowls of warning bursting from their lungs. I would say that was a successful patrol, because they survived <laughs> and they were able to get help, so I think that means that Blue Pearl is now a knight, which is great. And then Missile Paul. Well, I think just go with 
again and do some herb gathering because everyone has been a bit busy today and unable to take them on training. As the Medicine Cat's patrol pads out into Kingdom Clan territory, Missile Ward tells Dark Tuft about the dream they had last night and what the Star Clan vision could mean for Kingdom Clan. Oh, okay. Let's proceed. Dark Tuft takes Missilepool aside, giving them the full benefits of Dark Tuft's sen seniority and experience as they discuss Missilepool's vision. As a priest, they don't take their responsibility lightly, and both of them work together to divine the vision's meaning. Oh, that's so good! Okay. Okay, so Ice Staffle's tail was injured by a fox. Prickle Kit snuck out of camp and returned scraped up, but bringing of pride despite the scolding they were given. Prickle Kit now has a stomach ache, and Falcon Star saved Pebble Hail from a big dog, but was badly injured. Oh, okay, so we have two injured royals, so that is an issue. Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna briefly, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through the relationships because I don't find them that interesting if I'm being honest. Oh, Mottlebone had a fight with Shrub Ice. Those are the interesting ones. So, Mottlebone, I don't trust them to be honest. Hmm. And then Mottlebone notices that Missile Paul seems to disappear when I have a difficult task of being discussed. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I don't trust Mottled Bone at the moment. I don't trust that they're not the one who killed um, Hazy Glen. And also, I realised that Prickle Kit I should mark as a favourite, so I'll do that. So, this also means that Dark Tuft can't go out <laughs> at all because we have an injured royal and, of course, a sick kit who is also a royal, so they have to stay in the camp. But others can go out, but let's, oh, let's get Dapple Step to, um, let's mediate these two. Oh my goodness, their feelings are so high, that's really good. Okay, let's mediate. And they're eavesdropping on Prickle Kit, okay. What about Pebble Hail? Wonders how Mottled Bone is doing. That's interesting, okay. I don't know, but I don't think anyone's trusting Mottled Bone that much. Falcon Star is finding the responsibility of leadership to be quite the heavy burden. Dark Tuft wants to speak to Dapple Step about something. I wonder if they want to talk about Mottled Bone. I don't know. Dapple Step is eavesdropping on Prickle Kit. Mottled Bone wants to be chosen as the new deputy. I don't know. I don't trust Mottled Bone. I think they could. I think they could have done it. I think they could be the one who did it. We'll continue though. I think we're not going to allow them to become a knight for now. I think that makes sense, doesn't it? Ice Apple tries to set a good example for the younger cats. Shrub Ice uh, saw a two-legged kit playing with a kitty pet. Blue Pelt is all grown up and is looking forward to today. And Missile Paw bats at a beetle that wandered into camp. Okay. So, yeah, because the only one so far that isn't a knight is Mottled Bone. But I don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust them one bit. So, of course, our medicine cat cannot go out today. Um, but we will, I think, get Mottled Bone to go out. But I think Blue Pelt will go with them, just in case. And they'll go They'll go hunting. It starts snowing before the, soon after the patrol sets out, trying to bring back something for the fresh kill pile. Mottled Bone is the patrol leader, so we have to proceed. Despite the snow, the patrol manages to hunt successfully, ambushing the rabbits trying to feast on fresh grass of near leaf. As Mottled Bone leads, leads them home, there's a sense of security and competence driving them onwards. Okay. As I said, we're going to keep an eye on Mottled Bone for now. And then let's get Shrub Ice to go on a patrol with Missile Paul. So let's, let's do, just do some training. While out training together, Mistlepool starts an argument with Shrub Ice about the technique they're working on. Let's proceed. Shrub Ice rolls their eyes as amused by the apprentice's audacity as they are annoyed. That is, that is fair. However, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I have more videos just like this, so if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you enjoyed all my other ones as well. And make sure to comment your thoughts on Mottled Bone, because I don't trust that they're not the one who did the murder. I do not trust them at all at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>